Hey guys, Super Nintendo here, and every two weeks I let you, the viewer, choose which video game I should review next. Last time we reviewed Conker's Bad Fur Day for the Nintendo 64, and you chose, with 44% of the vote, Mad World for the Nintendo Wii. Now, is Mad World a good game? Is it a bad game? Well, let's find out, and stay tuned to the end of this video where I'll have four more choices for you to review next. Developed in 2009 by Platinum Games and published by Sega, Mad World is an incredibly violent game that stands out in the Wii library. Mad World is set in a dystopian future and you play as Jack, a contestant in the world's deadliest game show called Death Watch. You must fight your way through each level accumulating thousands of points and performing deadly finishing moves. To counteract the ultra-violence, this game is cell shaded and the only color in the game is yellow for the menus and red for the blood. The rest of the game is black and white, and while it's a novel idea, it does take some time to get used to. The biggest hurdle of this game is the motion controls. While I'm a fan of motion controls in general, the controls are kinda hard to manage when you're coming from a traditional controller. This is one of the more complicated control schemes taking advantage of motion controls. It isn't like Wii Bowling where it's just a waggle. You can use the Wii Mote to uppercut, hold B to activate the chainsaw, A to punch, long hold A to pick stuff up and control it, Z to jump, hold C to lock on to somebody, and C to change the camera angle. I really liked it to use every button in this game instead of just using waggle controls and calling it a day. Once you get used to the controls, it's clobbering time. Go through the levels tearing people apart. Cut their heads off, split them in half, throw cars at them, anything that you can think of to kill your enemy, there is a way to do it. You can throw people onto spikes, you can crush them into dumpsters, there's a whole level with trains going by and you can just toss them onto there. There are also bloodbath challenges where you try to kill as many people as you can in different ways. My favorite is the turbine. Just toss people in and watch the blood splatter. Then you have boss battles which can be very different beasts altogether. Figuring out how to take down these giants is so satisfying. The main setback of Mad World is that the motion controls have a learning curve to them and sometimes you can't do what you want. But if this had a traditional controller layout, I think it would be a bit boring. There's something satisfying about taking out your chainsaw and swinging it into some goons and cutting them in half. Over time, the motion controls become second nature. The graphics are interesting, but this allows the Wii to handle the action smoothly and also for Platinum to avoid an adult rating. Seriously, this game makes Conker's Bad Fur Day look like Diddy Kong Racing. And best of all, this game is cheap. I picked this up for $5 complete at GameStop. This is definitely one of the most undervalued gems of the Nintendo Wii for sure. So that's Mad World for the Nintendo Wii, a cheap, ultra-violent game that's well worth the $5. And who says Nintendo's just for kids? Now it's time for your four choices. Army Men 3D for the PlayStation. Alien Hominid for the Nintendo GameCube, Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo, and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for the Sega CD. Now, as always, I will have a poll on my Twitter profile, at Snicktendo. It'll be up for two days and it'll be pinned to the top of my profile so that you don't miss it. And then after the poll is closed and the votes are all tallied in, I will have a review for you in two weeks. So be sure to vote. Be sure to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I'm Super Nintendo, and I'll see you next time.